Hi everyone. Um, today I'm here to share with you my April favorites and um, this is in no particular order. So first up I have my shampoo and conditioner. It is the Pantene Fine Hair Solutions Volume. So this particular shampoo is silicone free. This one does have silicones as far as the conditioner goes. Can you guys see that? Um, I have very fine hair. I have a lot of hair but just thin tiny strands and I find that this works really well with me. Um, most, a lot of drugstore shampoos tend to irritate my scalp and I had took a break from this uh, about a week ago and started using an Herbal Essences shampoo that I have and it's starting to kind of like make my scalp all itchy and everything so I think I'm gonna have to go back to this again but I thought you know I'd like to switch up my shampoo and conditioners because sometimes my hair gets used to the same thing and then it's lifeless even with a uh, clarifying shampoo sometimes that still happens for me but um, I do like this a lot next up I have Urban Decay's primer potion um, most of the time I use this to keep my eyeshadow on sometimes I just don't even bother but it's been hot a lot, I would say, for this month, and um, this is definitely an essential item for me. I really love it. Uh, next one I have is, I have some blushes. Um, the packaging for both of these are kind of grubby looking, so just be warned. The first is Elf's Blush in, let's see here, Natural Radiance Blusher in Shy. So that's the packaging, but here it is shy and this is I, I I know they don't make this packaging anymore I think they've repackaged it and then um, increased the price a dollar more um, but I really like this blush I find that it gives me kind of a nice luminescent kind of like glow on my cheeks and it's like not too dark not too like it's just um, comparable to Max Well Dress. That's why I like this one a lot. And next is NARS Orgasm Blush and <laughs> this packaging is really bad. I don't know what happened to it but the packaging started to get a little sticky. <laughs> so yes, you see how grubby that is? It's disgusting. I know. Sorry guys but like I could literally scratch it off. It's gross. But I will not waste the insides because of the outside. You know what I'm saying? It's the inside that counts. So, as you can see, I've used it quite a lot. I've had this blush for quite a long, long time. Years. So, I do want to work on using it up, but I have also been enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's just, it gives a nice glow. It's kind of a mixture between like a coral and a um, pink. Maybe it's just more coral with a slight shimmer. Uh, let's see here. Uh, next I have is Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duality. One end is called Camille and one end is called Sand. This is the end that I use most often and it's called Camille. Sorry, the lighting is kind of crazy. There we go. So it's just a nice matte, um, creamy pencil. Let's see if I can do a little swatch for you guys. So I like to put this right under my brow bone. I have that on right now. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. But this is nice. Um, I use this in conjunction with my other favorite, which is um, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I'm sure everyone knows what this looks like. Let's see. So I'll swatch this next to this product. So there's Bad to the Bronze, and there, I can't even get this right, is the Anastasia um, Brow Duality in Camille. I think they might sell that pencil in that shade by itself, but. Um, I've used these in conjunction with each other. That's what I have on today. I don't know if you can see, but I love it. It's a really quick eye, and that's why I like it. I've been loving it. 
and I find that it's pretty crease proof. So, and my next product is this powder, which I have dropped quite a few times, and it's a bit dirty. So you see that's totally messed up and cracked. But it's the L'Oreal Bare Natural Soft Focus Mineral Finish Powder in the color Translucent, which is number 401. There we go. And basically it's, I guess, like a mineral powder or a mineral finishing powder. That's what it looks like on the inside, but I use this to set my concealer under my eyes. Um, I find that it kind of helps not only set it, but brighten up my eye area, and this is, as of right now at least, this is my holy grail under eye um, setting powder. I've tried, um, I have Makeup Forever's HD powder, ELF's HD powder. Um, I find that those, when I use that underneath my eyes, for some reason, if I just use that alone, it kind of creates a gray cast and it seems to darken the area so it kind of does the complete opposite of what I wanted to do. So I want it to brighten so I'll use this if for some reason I'm, well if I know if I'm having a long day then I might go over it with the uh, Makeup Forever HD powder to kind of, you know, create, you know, help the longevity of it. So, And next I have this particular product on right now. And it's L'Oreal's Color Riche Balm. And the color is called Lays in the Maze. And the number is 948. Let's see. There we go. And it looks like this. It looks a little darker on camera. Um, it's a little more pastel looking in person. I don't know if I can get the right light, but if I can swatch it for you. I'll put it above the Anastasia. So it is... Sorry, I'm trying to still learn... I'm still learning how to swatch on camera. <laughs> but it's right here. Right there on the top. Let's see if I can get the light. Sorry, guys. There we go. That is more accurate right there. I really like that a lot, and I find that it, this came out with, I think, their spring collection, and it had a bunch of pastel, other pastel colors, like a pastel purple, pink, and I think there was like a pastel blue or something like that, maybe yellow even. Um, people had complained that um, these were really unpigmented, but this I find is pretty pigmented. I have that on again, as I said, and I really like it. It's um, For me, it's hydrating. Um, I like it. They used to make them with um, SPF 15. I don't know why they don't do it anymore. I wish that they did, but I love it. And last but not least is the Organics Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shimmering Keratin Oil. It's a mouthful. Um, I usually wash my hair every other day, and right after I wash it, I always air dry it. Usually my hair is after I wash it and let it air dry, it kind of gets a little curly, um, more wavy, but kind of like between the two. And then the second day, which is right now, you can see, is like just beach wavy, I guess. This It's just kind of does its own thing, part, part of it's straight, part of it's wavy, and then goes back to straight again. But um, the roots of my hair always get oily and the ends are always dry so I just spray this a little bit on the ends and just kind of smooth it out a little bit to kind of help it. So I really like that a lot. It just a little bit goes a long way but I would suggest um, doing it over like spraying it when you're spraying it stand over like a towel or something because I've done it in on the bathroom floor and almost slipped before so <laughs> anyways just be warned. Um, but that's it for my April favorites. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you um, would like to comment, that'd be great. Please um, thumbs up if you do like it. And if you'd subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks so much, guys.